is it guys it's Lauren and yes we're filming again amazing <laughs> yeah uh <coughs> sort my pajamas then um mm, forgot where I was going with that sentence so I think I've got out of my whole thing like I was here for a while like I wasn't drawing wasn't going into uni I felt ill for a while which you guys probably know about in the last video and I just wasn't really feeling life for a few months but I've kind of started coming out of that now I went to uni for the first time today in uh, probably about a month and a half which I can warn you all I have been working from home I've kept up to date don't think I've just been watching crappy TV, which I do, but I've been working at the same time, so it's fine. But I was just wanting to update you guys on some things. Well, I say some things. Uh, one thing. <laughs> As you know, I have a Facebook page for my YouTube account, which I don't really update anymore, which I do apologise if anyone's a follower of that. But I tend to update more of my face painting page and my new page which is what this video is about so um as we all know Lauren's an illustration student speak, speaking in first person I think that was yeah I'm an illustration student at the University of Gloucestershire which is an amazing uni come join us come into illustration we can draw things together that'd be good and uh so I'm an illustration student, I've studied uh, art for most of my life now. I started with GCSE which starts in year 9, I don't know what that would be in any other country's terms but that would be year 9. 3 years in secondary school which I guess is kind of high school-ish for Americans, I have no idea, I apologise if I'm wrong. but. Yep, three years in school I did art and design and then I went on to college and did one year of level two uh, art and design and then I did another two year course of level three art and design. So that's six years of art and then this course is going to be another three years <laughs> which is a um, degree course which is exciting. My mum told me I'd be the first one in our family to have a degree. Apart from my cousin, she's also doing a degree at the moment as well. But, shh, it's fine. I'm the only one to have an art degree. Not have, but working towards. So, after that rant about how long I've been doing art for, um, I have decided, I did for a while have an art page on Facebook, but I took it down because it was full with a lot of art that I just used to draw and I didn't really work on and I didn't really go into much detail with or I didn't really try with most of the art that was on there which uh, I should have tried a bit harder but what can you do I'm gonna sneeze <laughs> oh <sighs> okay so yes I now have an illustration page if you follow on my Instagram I have the link on there if not I will try to link it below but obviously still don't have all my laptop and stuff connected up with my YouTube at the moment because it's all a little bit uh, messed up but I will try and link it below uh, do go and like it because uh, I don't know I like the support <laughs> it's, it's good for artists to see other artists work so if you do art go for it and link your page onto my page and I will look at it and I will like it and I will look through your art and find inspiration and maybe we could collab on some pieces which would be really cool so that's pretty much all I really wanted to talk about but I don't know um yeah that's pretty much what I've done for my page uh just thought as I've been a top tip with my university course with her, our whole like art department, I think it's the illustration department, we put out these books called an Olio and that's all of that year's finishing class 
work like everyone makes a piece for the olio or chooses a piece and then we publish it in a book and before I actually started on my course I used to get them given to me at college and I've got one with me and I also have an illustration award annual from 2013 so if you do get given anything like these guys in college or in school keep them forever like I made the mistake of which year is this this is volume 9 so I'm not too sure what year this is let me see let me see it doesn't say <laughs> okay so it doesn't say on this one but it's got a poo turn of ex-students artwork in it and oh it's amazing and I've tried to get my hands on some more of these you can order them from the website if you wanted to look at our finishing students work from over the years it's uh what is it www.pitfillpress.co.uk that's our university site for illustration like award stuff and like selling stuff and seeing all the artists that worked with us and then also in Cheltenham where I do actually go to university we have this illustration awards that happens every year and I've never been before and I didn't get to go this year but I can't remember why I had a good excuse but I don't remember why I didn't go but I got given one of the books for 2013 I say this year it's 2015 last year 2014 I didn't get to go to so I was given one of these and this is full of amazing things as well so literally best tip for any artist starting out finishing off doing anything at your career collect inspiration like do it like I've got a file somewhere full of random pictures I've printed out or the people have printed out and I liked and I was like can I have one of those and they're like yeah so do that and a top definite top tip for if you are thinking of starting uni and you're looking around at universities especially for art what we what I've noticed when I was searching for universities is that a lot of places their students had their own business cards made and they had their art on the back of them and I don't think they have any to hand they're all really far away okay so what I did was I collected a bunch of those up and I also had a bunch of postcards but they're on my wall there so you can't really see those but it has the artist on it, it has some of their work on it which is really cool because they're only like this big and it has all their details and contact details on so collect a whole bunch of those, go on their websites, look at their stuff you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to but it's always good to find inspiration from other artists like I got a Pinterest now as well because I look at art a lot on there so yeah, just a little updated tippy video your my parents are away so I'm filming and it's like 20 minutes past 9 at night. Oh, horrible. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully I will get back with you guys and talk to you on my Facebook page or on my Instagram. Self-promotion. Okay, yeah, just go ahead, like a bunch of those things that I have on there and everything like that. And as I said earlier, if you have an art Facebook page or Instagram, please link it to me because I always like finding new artists to share with other students that I um, go to uni with and like just find an inspiration for myself because I'm very, I get artist blocked very quickly. Like one day something will inspire me amazingly and I'll love it, but then the next day I'm like, I don't know what to do with this idea now. So inspiration is always accepted for me. So I'm going to stop ranting. I'm going to carry on watching the TV and get some uni work done. And I will see you guys in my next video. Get awkwardly close to the camera. Oh, bye guys. Bye.